so what is going on everybody welcome to your 14th Android application development tutorial my name is Mehul and in this tutorial we're gonna continue a little bit more with relative layouts uh, later on <clears throat> we're gonna take a look at events if time allows us to do so so let's get started now first of all I would like to fix this application a little bit which I told you in the last tutorial and that is these fields are kind of misaligned so that doesn't look actually nice so you could easily fix that by just setting a width of like 20 dps and it's way too less I guess about 100 uh, let's just change this to 140 so I would just set the same width on both the text views so now kind of it makes sense to me you see that these two are of equal width and just we need a little bit of padding as well so you could just change this margin to 15 dps and then you could add a padding as well so you could say android padding left is let's just say this is 10 dps for now and you could even change that to 15 if you want to and just copy it right here and pretty much your application is done so things are now aligned and it looks okay for now so that is pretty much for this layout and what I want to discuss in this tutorial is how relative layout would actually work so let me just get rid of all of this and get a fresh start now <clears throat> I want to discuss about the possible directions so if I open paint Whoa, okay, take it easy. Uh, okay, here we go. So, what happens is that <clears throat> if this is your screen right there, then you could have directions like the you could just place your element in relative layout on the edge, the top edge of your relative layout. You could say that uh, you want your element to be on the right edge of the relative layout to the left edge of the relative layout and mind you that I am talking about the layout itself not a particular element or you could say that the element is at the bottom edge of the relative layout now let's just say you have another element on the screen right and let's just say this is your element okay wait a minute okay so it looks like there's something going on with my mouse well anyways so let's just say this is another element on the screen and uh, now apart from all those four direction which you earlier had what you have access to is that you could have four directions more with this element right here so you could say that you could place your next element on the right of this or on the left of this or on the bottom of this or on the top of this so kinda <clears throat> as many elements you add you can see that with no element you had four options to place the next element with one element on the screen you have four plus four options that is you could <clears throat> either align it with layout or with this and you could actually align it with both you would just see that in a minute you could actually make use of these properties and the layout ones as well so you have kind of access to eight properties at a time <clears throat> then with three elements it would be four four and four that would make it a 12 so that kind of goes on so let's just take a look at how we can make that work so make sure you're working on relative layout and say button align and wait a minute this should be wrap content and why is it red okay wrap content I don't know well anyways this is my button and uh, what I can say that this is Android layout now when you type layout you would get a bunch of properties right there you could see and select any one of these so I'm gonna say that this is center horizontal and I'm gonna set this to true now what that means is that it would be horizontally centered in my layout right here 
within my relative layout so I could even say like Android layout align parent align parent top equals true and that wouldn't kind of make a lot of difference because it's already on the top so I could just say that it is it has some text so that it's kind of nice to look at so I'm gonna say that I am a cool button and but if you change that align parent top to align parent bottom and uh, here we go then we'll see that the button immediately moves <coughs> on to the bottom of the screen but it's still in the center because of this one so you could exploit this feature of relative layout to create custom layouts and you could just create another button which would create itself from a fresh start so if I just remove these two I am cooler than previous so <clears throat> now you can see that the next element starts from the top left corner of the screen but you could even assign this an ID and I told you an ID what it would do is that it would particularly mark that element so that you could actually work with that later on or you could just place elements around this so I'm gonna say this is B1 and for this I'm, I can say that Android layout to right off end off left off start off and pretty much you have these things so if I say like to write off and I specify an ID of B1 now what happens is that it would place this element right here to the right of this element now think in two dimension it's not kind of like this button would move here and then this would be on the right because if they are linear then you are not working on a two dimensional screen you are actually working on a two dimensional screen so for now the right only means the right not in line with that particular element well if you want that to be in line with the particular element you could say that Android layout align parent uh, align parent bottom to true and you would get the expected result then again you could create another element which would be like uh, we could actually give this an ID of B2 and then what I can say that this is aligned to B2 and I am much cooler than everything and I can say that this is layout to left off B2 and I'm just gonna remove it for a while so now you can see that uh, it doesn't care about this button right here right so you see that it only cares about this thing right here it knows that it has to be on the left of this thing but not this one now again you could make use of something like Android layout to align parent right or parent actually bottom to true and then you would just see that it overlaps on that particular button so you would like to avoid these sort of situations so you have to manually decide how to make that particular layout work with that particular setting you are having and you could even make use of like layout center vertical instead of just throwing it on the bottom so you see that now it is in the middle you could say to I am cool button to be center or basically say this to be align parent top to be true oh wait a minute align parent top and uh, you could see that pretty much I'm spanning three different buttons on the skin screen and this is on the right of this but this is on the left of this button so if I change this from B2 to B1 you would see that the button kind of shrinks because it needs to be on the left of this button so that's how pretty much you could play around with relative layout and it kind of gives you control over your code but it's not that effective if you want like a particular grid type layout which kind of allows you to 
make use of grids and if you have ever used like um, bootstrap for html for front end you would notice that bootstrap comes with grids type of system and uh, that is what particularly makes it popular and uh, pretty much uh, i guess that's it for this tutorial and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching and i'll see you then in the next one